Good evening, Gloria's away. Today was Research in Motion's moment to shine. The company rebranded itself as BlackBerry and launched two new versions of its now namesake phone. It's all part of a major corporate makeover. And as Susanna De Silva reports, there's also something for Vancouver. Diego. Those are more than the latest smartphones. They're likely the last hope for what was once a technology leader, now desperately trying to play catch up. From this point forward, RIM becomes BlackBerry. The reinvention includes a new company name, part of the unveiling of the new BlackBerry 10, a phone available in Canada next week, that the company insists doesn't just catch up with what's on the market, it leaps ahead. No more in and out of applications, it's all about flowing seamlessly from one application to another. And in order to ensure an abundance of applications, BlackBerry is setting up a development hub here in Vancouver, posting staff in an already existing centre that houses close to 200 mostly independent developers. It's really a set of resources and people that are that is sitting inside of the Wavefront Centre that's designed to help people get first-hand access to the latest BlackBerry tools and devices to help them build better products and get them to market faster. Vancouver will be one of only three tech centers for BlackBerry. This really covers the Pacific Northwest, so they chose Vancouver over Seattle and, and other larger cities in the United States. So I think it's a real credit and a kudo to the strength of the Vancouver tech community. And UBC and SFU are expected to play major roles. Given the past uh, at least two, three years, they hire a lot of our students. Uh, so probably they felt that it's a lot easier for them to move here and hire our student directly from here rather than trying to convince our student to move all the way to Kitchener. But will all this be enough? They don't have a plan B. Uh, if, if you see BlackBerry 10 phones struggle early on and carriers start to abandon them, that's basically it for the company. This phone won't be available in the U.S. until March, and a new, more traditional BlackBerry with a keyboard won't be ready for at least a couple of months. Those will be the real gauges of BlackBerry's future. Susanna De Silva, CBC News, Vancouver. Some boaters and conservationists 